children, it's good to be with you again today. Last Sunday, at this time for the children's message, Pastor John came running down the aisle into the sanctuary, shouting that he had good news that Jesus was risen. He had good news, and we celebrated that on Easter. And today, we continue to celebrate that good news of Easter that Jesus rose from the dead after he had been nailed to a cross. They put nails in his hands and in his feet, and he died, and then they put him in a tomb. They rolled a stone in, and he was in that tomb for three days, but then the stone was rolled away, and he was alive again. So we continue that story this week, and in that story, in the night of the day that he rose, He appeared to Jesus' disciples who were gathered in an upper room. They'd heard the news that he had risen, but they hadn't seen him yet. And he was there with them, and he showed them the scars on his hands and his feet, and they knew the good news was true, that Jesus was alive. But there was one disciple who wasn't there that time. It was Thomas. So Jesus left. Thomas came back. They told Thomas this good news, but Thomas said, I don't believe you. Until I can see it, I can't believe it. Well, eight days later, Jesus had heard that Thomas was having trouble believing the good news and feeling that good news and that hope. So he came back to the disciples, and Thomas was there this time. And this is what the Bible says. After eight days, when Jesus' disciples were again in a house, and Thomas was with them now, even though the doors were locked, Jesus came in and stood among them, and he said, Peace be with you. Then Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here. He showed him his hands. Look at my hands. Put your hand into my side. No more disbelief. Believe. And Thomas replied to him, and he said, Jesus, my Lord and my God. We can have a lot of compassion for Thomas, that he wasn't there the first time Jesus came and showed himself to the disciples. So he was having a hard time believing. I would have a hard time believing. But Jesus knew that Thomas was having a hard time, and he knew that Thomas needed to see him just like the other disciples, so he came back for Thomas. And that's good news for us, because sometimes we're struggling, and we have a hard time believing, or we have questions, or we have fears or doubts. And if we tell that to Jesus, if we we just put that out there, I need you, Jesus, Jesus will come for us. Sometimes we'll see him through another person, in a message we hear, and something kind that somebody does for us, but that's Jesus coming back to say, I'm still with you, I'm still alive, and that is good news. So would you pray with me? Jesus, sometimes we are afraid, have questions, are sad, and have doubts. Help us to trust that when we tell you what we need, that you will be there for us, just like you were there for Thomas, to listen and help us.